Hello. Hey guys. <coughs> Sorry. That's the dog. <laughs> Louie, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What's going on, guys? I got to keep my pitch down because the dog thinks that someone's here when I talk like that. How's everybody doing? Let's see how everybody get in here. We're going to do a little cooking today. Sorry, guys. It was a little bit late today. Um, Busy day around here. So I hope everybody's doing well. I'll give you guys a minute to get in here. Hello, hello, hello. I'm gonna kind of keep this tilted like this so you guys can see it. I'm gonna do some macaroni, homemade macaroni and cheese, and we're gonna do some stuffed shells, I think, today. Or at least we'll get through the macaroni and cheese. Can you guys see this okay? Can you guys hear me? Just let me know, please, and thank you. <clears throat> I hope everybody's having a nice Saturday. <clears throat> Anybody coming in? All right, well, we're going to get started. I'm going to start on this. You guys just, um, whoever comes in with the chat, I will check the chat in a few minutes, okay? So we're doing some homemade mac and cheese. My mac and cheese, you guys, is so super easy. Um, it literally is like five ingredients. That's it. Um, I don't fuss too much. I've been making this for years and years and years. This was actually my, one of my girlfriends I went to college with. This was her recipe. And, uh. Super easy. So I already pre-cooked macaroni. You can use whatever kind of macaroni you have, whatever kind you like. Elbows, penne, rigatoni, spirals, um, any of those kinds. Um, I've got American cheese. I've got a couple pounds of American cheese. Uh, butter, salted butter. Um, and um, milk and milk. And that's about it. Um, and I'm going to prep it for tomorrow. So I'm not cooking it today. So I'm going to prep it, put it in the, like cover it and put it in the fridge. And then all I got to do is pop it in the oven tomorrow. And it uh, comes up so nice. So this pan is great because I can use this on top of my stove or I can use it in my oven. Hi, Aussie Amy. Hey, you're up still. What's going on? We're cooking some homemade mac and cheese. Can you see okay? Can you hear me all right? I'm like trying this new, I'm using my son's like little tripod thing. I'm trying this with my phone today. We tried different ways, just so you guys can kind of see. You don't have to look at me. <laughs> you don't want to see me. Yep, homemade mac and cheese. And this is like the most simple, easy, easy, easy. I have other recipes that I make too, but this is like what the kids love. They absolutely love this. Um, and adults do too, obviously. So I've got about, I don't know, this is about a pound and a half-ish of um, macaroni. I just sprayed my pan with a little butter spray. And... What you're gonna do so i just all you do is it's basically just layering like there's really no science behind this like a kid could do this honestly <clears throat> so i'm getting this fixed for tomorrow i hope you're doing well amy long time to see i was supposed to go live like an hour ago and i got tied up with doing uh my son's hair <clears throat> we have to make it more blonde for him so Here. All right, so all I all you do literally is you're just gonna layer. So you do like a layer of macaroni on the bottom, and then you just do a couple pats of butter. Literally, just throw them around. The bottom layer you probably want to put like a little bit more, just because sometimes it sticks. You know what I mean? So you do that, and then you just take the cheese. Your sliced cheese and you literally just like overlap it you can be as generous as you want to be however much cheese I got three pounds of cheese but I won't use all of that but the, the kids will have they always eat a lot of cheese anyway so you like cheese around here and all you're basically gonna do is just kind of 
cover all the macaroni on the bottom. Like that. Okay. And then here we go with our next layer. When I told you it was easy, this was easy, like you could honestly teach your kids how to make this. <clears throat> And then you just do your next layer, just enough to cover where that cheese is there. So this is going to pair well with the ham for tomorrow. I'm also making au gratin, like, you know, the cheesy potatoes that the kids like the mac and cheese. But, um, so I'm making that for them. And we're just going to go back through with our butter. Like so. And you can use a combination of salted, unsalted. I use the salted just to give it a little extra because I don't really put anything else um, in here. <clears throat> Usually I throw it in the oven like at 350. Um, I cook it covered for almost close to an hour. And then I'll take it out. I take the top off. And I cook it right in this pan. Um, and um, I will sprinkle breadcrumbs on top for like the last 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. So I'll do like a breadcrumb mixture on top and I put, spray it with a little bit of butter on top of the breadcrumbs, pop that in uncovered for like 10, just until it kind of cooks, you know, until it's like golden on top. Um, and then you take it out, put the lid on, let it sit and you're good to go. So once you get all your layers done, um, you're going to add your milk and you can, I use, um, um, a lot of times I get lactose free milk because one of the kids is a little lactose intolerant. So. You can use lactose-free milk. Um, I've never tried it with like a, like a variation, like an oat milk or anything like that. But um, I don't know how those are. All right, one pound of cheese already down. What do we got in here? Hello, who's in here? Hi. Yes, the um, the ham, um, Prince Prince Hall. Sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Um, yeah, the ham's going to go in the oven tomorrow. I'm just prepping this for tomorrow. This is just getting prepped for tomorrow. But yes, we're going to have a nice ham tomorrow. I'm not a huge fan of ham. It's just what we always kind of have on Easter. <laughs> um, I mean, I could take it or leave it, you know what I mean? But it does pair well. Oh, sorry, doggies. The dogs are right below my feet, you guys, because they know I have cheese here. <laughs> Thank you for coming in, everybody. If you're new here, if I'm not paying attention, I'm sorry. My friend Amy will greet you because she's awesome like that. Um, and just please hit that like and subscribe if you're not subscribed, guys. Thank you. Hey, Drifter Nomad. Yeah. Yep, comfort food. Yep. How you doing? I gotta like lean over to see the chef. <clears throat> go lay down. Come on. Go lay down. Unless you want to say hello. Come on. Go lay down. You're in my way. The dogs are right below me because they know what I'm doing. <clears throat> All right. Um, I did, wait, I did butter. Yep. Yeah. I gotta think for a second here. <laughs> All right, do we like their last layer of macaroni here? And if you don't like breadcrumbs, I have some of the kids that aren't crazy about the breadcrumbs in it. I don't know why. I think it tastes great with the breadcrumbs. It just gives it that nice, like, extra home cooked flavor. But um, you can do it without the breadcrumbs. Um, you know, just cook it uncovered on the top part for like the last 10 minutes. Like I said, 350, um, you know, pop it in the oven, um, covered, you know, for about an hour or so. Um, get these all on top here. All right. And I had pre-cooked my macaroni and I hate when macaroni sticks together. So what I did was I, um, I threw a little bit of, um, olive oil in the macaroni so it would um, easily separate when I went to back to do this. 
<clears throat> I was cooking and also doing my son's hair at the same time. So multitasking per usual around here. That's why I got a little tied up, guys. <clears throat> All right. That's about it. Do one more little thing. And these are, I mean, I'm doing them pretty thin. They're not like super thick. Just want to be able to spread them all throughout. Okay. And then one more layer of cheese. And then if you've got like, um, like I get, um, I'll mix these together sometimes. Like if, um, cause I get the, uh, Lando Lakes American cheese. That's what we, you know, I just like the Lando Lakes, but they make one that's a 30% less, um, sodium. So you can mix those together and you don't even notice the difference. So you can, if you're worried about salt, you know, intake or whatever, you can tweak it uh, as you need to. Nice piled high here. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave a little space right there. If you can see that. And then I'm going to pour my milk right in there. And I'm not going to fill this completely because, like I said, it's going to be... Um, cooked tomorrow so usually what I do is I fill it until I can kind of see it where it kind of peeks through just through that top layer <clears throat> that's good for now I think coming right up to here so that's perfect <clears throat> and then just finish it off with the cheese I'm gonna finish it off with the cheese here I'm gonna say hi <laughs> mr. infinity just walked in he's been doing yard work this afternoon Got a bunch of the mulch down in the yard, so it's nice, nicey nice. <clears throat> All right, just kind of pack that in like so. All right, and oh, he's, the dog is wanting one. Good boy, good girl, easy, good girl. And hello. And then this just goes right into the fridge and then pops right into the oven tomorrow whenever you're ready to uh, cook it. Like I said, give yourself about an hour, hour and 10 minutes or so, and it's good to go. Let's put that in here. Mm, yes, exactly, Drifter Nomad. Yep. We do this one real simple because the kids can be picky sometimes. Um, but like I said, at the very end, I'll add some breadcrumbs, like at the last 10 minutes of cooking and um, I leave it uncovered and I put it back in the oven and I just let those cook right into it. <clears throat> and I get set up for the shells guys, just give me one second. Hey, Indie Mom, how are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. I saw you had commented on the live yesterday. Thank you so much. How's everything been? I'm good, thank you. Thanks so much for stopping in. It's so nice to see you. Honeybees has been joining me lately. It's been so nice to catch up with her, too. I was like, oh my gosh, my old friends, I haven't seen them in so long. Oh. <clears throat> All right. This is good. I'll put that in the... I have another fridge out in the garage. I'll put that out there later. All right. Let me get set up, y'all. Oh, yeah, he's a puggle. He's part beagle. Yeah. <laughs> He comes on camera sometimes every once in a while. He's funny. Right, Lewis? I know. 
<clears throat> All right, let me get this stuff set up for the shows here. Indie Mom, you got any plans for um for Easter? Anything good going on? just magically appeared you guys I feel like one of those cooking shows <laughs> isn't that funny all right guys give me one second I'll be right back hold on one second Okay, guys. You're going to the in Oh, good. You're going to the in-laws. That's good. I feel so weird. Like, <laughs> this thing is like I have it pointed down. Um, yeah. Well, that's good. Well, I hope you have a nice day. It's gorgeous here. It's been, it was, it was chilly this morning, but it got, um, and it was a little windy, but it's gotten pretty nice every day. So, every day is getting a little bit, a little bit better. I'm going to move you guys over here a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be. Oop. I'm getting used to this thing here, you guys. This is actually my, my son for when they when they film. Um, all right, so we're going to make the stuffing for the stuffed shells. I already pre-cooked homemade sauce for this. I have a pre-cooked um, meat sauce, and then I also have a little bit of vodka sauce. So I'm going to kind of mix the both of them together. Um, I'll put that over there for now. And if you guys, if you go back through my videos, there's a cooking video when I do my, um, just my regular marinara sauce. Um, so if you guys want to see that, that's in the archives. <clears throat> Got some fresh parsley. Anytime you can use fresh herbs, it's always nice. I love the smell of it too. It's so nice. <clears throat> Just take off a good chunk. <clears throat> nice and fresh. I can't wait for gardening season, you guys. So I can start to grow all my herbs and my tomatoes and everything. Oh, that's good. Anybody else have any plans today or tomorrow? Anything going on? We're going down to the family's house after I finish doing all this. We're going to have um, macaroni and meatballs tonight. All right. We've got cheese. So you got, this is my favorite kind, you guys, the Fina. Everyone has their own all, their own style. I've got a couple extra ones in the fridge. I'm going to finish up those guys. So I had just opened them earlier in the week. <clears throat> um, what else do I need here? Got some Parmesan, some fresh Parmesan. Okay. All right. So, 
for the amount of shells that I'm doing. So I'm probably doing like a regular baking dish size. So you probably want one or two eggs to mix in with your um with your regat. <clears throat> check the comments in just a section guys a second guys thank you for everybody who's watching i appreciate it <clears throat> anything traditional that you're having tomorrow Wendy mom or anybody that's there anything you guys really look forward to at easter there's always a meal that like something like a dish that you look forward to i think for every holiday um my favorite is um, the a pizza game, the Italian ham pie. Ooh, watch out, Lula. Almost tripped over the dog. That's my favorite one for Easter. <clears throat> I got two eggs in there, right? guys that are just coming in we're just making a mixture for stuffed shells right now so I've got some regatta cheese and I got some egg in here I'm just gonna kind of slowly fold that together and then I'm gonna add a little bit more regatta cheese I'm gonna add a dash of milk just to kind of loosen it up a little bit. I love even when I just have a bowl of like spaghetti or um, well, I do a lot of times I cook spaghetti squash and I you know I put the sauce on top of the spaghetti squash and then I just take a dollop of regal like this and I just put it right in with it. It's so good. Can you guys see this one okay? Hey Valdez, how are you? I'm checking the chat every once in a while. Amy's my my official greeter today. Thanks, Amy. <laughs> We're making some stuffed shells. We're prepping them for tomorrow. All right. Tiny bit dash of milk again. Valdez, how you feeling today?
And honestly, guys, I just do it by texture because um, I know, you know, you want to be able to get it to fill the shell. You want it to be, you know, not too clumpy. All right. I'm going to add a little pepper, a little black pepper. And a little garlic powder. Just a little bit, you know, because you got a lot of flavor from the uh, from the uh, sauce that you put in there. And then I'm gonna add a little salt, a little sea salt. One little touch is I add, always add a little teeny bit of sugar. I do that with my sauce too. Oh, your batter good. Oh, nice. I'm trying to read the chat here. <laughs> that's funny well you can learn to cook now listen i've learned as i've gone along all the years i, I just, it's like um it's kind of like art to me it's like painting because i love cooking because you can taste it as you go along so there's been a couple people that i've had have been in my life that i've learned you know basics from but then you just kind of do your own thing too you know what i mean all right add some parmesan cheese And you guys, this is all based on like your own, you know, taste, you know what I mean? So you could add mozzarella in here. Add just a teeny bit more milk. <laughs> You're funny about this. That's okay. I'm sure you had fun back in the 70s burning the bra. <laughs> That's funny. And then we're just going to chop up some parsley. And I might not even need all of this. I'll save the rest of it for tomorrow if I just chop it up. It smells so good. So nice and fresh. And I like to chop it up real fine, so you know, you don't get it stuck in your teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, just gonna add a little bit of that. <clears throat> just mix, pull that in. And like I said, the sauce already has a lot of flavor. But you know, this is, makes it nice and special for the. Uh, the shell is nice and creamy and actually what you can do is if you, if you make a lot of this and you have leftover you can always um you know throw it in the freezer um and then defrost it so you can make like a double batch of it so you know you can make one tray of shells and throw it in the freezer um you know take it out whenever you want to and you can bake it frozen you don't even have to uh, thaw it out if you make it ahead of time so a lot of times what i'll do when i cook is i'll make an extra 
you know, I make two, basically like two servings of uh, sauce and I'll throw one in the freezer. Same thing with meatballs, you know, and then that way, um, I don't have to do the work every single time we want a sauce or, or something like that. All right. This is good. I'm just going to throw that into the bowl. Check the chat in one second, guys, and say hello. All right. Throw that over here. Nobody else yet well thank you guys for coming in and thank you for hitting the like button you're welcome oh thank you so much did you hit the like button <laughs> yes mr infinity says he hit the like button he's watching from the uh the bushes oh, i just want to add a little bit more pepper that's what i do Yeah, there's ones in the garage, too. <clears throat> all right, guys. So now we got your filling all prepped. Just put these things away here. Sorry. All right, now what you want to do, I'm going to move you guys back over. Let's see. I'm going to move you guys back over this way. Sorry. I am the camera person. <laughs> I don't have anybody do it for me. Uh, all right. Vodka sauce. Homemade meat sauce. All right. All right, so you want to start off with your bottom layer with your sauce. And like I said, I'm going to kind of just put these two together a little bit. You know, it's always, you can do whatever you want. You know, you could do like a regular marinara, whatever, you know, any of your, any kind of your favorite sauce. Um, so I'm going to do, let's see here, I'm going to layer some vodka. Be nice and rich like this and then you just want to come through on the bottom like so and then all right and then just kind of swirl it around I think you guys can see that okay right And then I'm going to add on, mix in a little bit of my meat sauce here. I'm going to give it a decent layer.
What I like to do is I like to do a little heavier layer on the bottom for the shells to sit in and then do a little bit of a lighter layer on top. That way they're not bogged down, you know what I mean? Especially with a heavier sauce like the, the meat sauce. So I just kind of like, you know, just kind of swirl it together. The vodka sauce adds a little bit of, gives it a little bit of richness, you know? So, all right. Do that. Perfect. Okay. So now you have your base set. You can kind of move these out of the way here. All right, I'm going to try, let's see. <clears throat> I never know what spoons I want to use. I got to get one of those. I got to make one of those, um, you know, like the, the, fu the funnel shaped things where you can just, you know, go through and basically just kind of fill it, <laughs> fill anything like a, together and you can make them too um i just sometimes i just do this so these i actually cooked a little earlier when i when i cooked the macaroni for the uh mac and cheese so now they're like you're they're able to be held you know what i mean you don't want to do that when they're when they're hot cook them al dente yeah homemade gravy you know it that's right you get spoiled, you know what I mean? Like when you make your own and you're used to your own, when you go out to dinner, it's like, the, that's the one thing you don't want to order is like meatballs and sauce. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Mr. Infinity is a very anti-ordering meatballs and sauce when he's out. If it's a place I know that has good vodka sauce, I will get that. But um, that's about it. So you just want to fill your shell like that. And just kind of like, you know, close it up a little. And then you just want to lay it. Open side the open side up into the pan. You know, for a couple of years during COVID, um, the manufacturers weren't shipping out any of these shells to the stores. It was so weird. So like you couldn't get shells. The only ones that they had were like these organic ones, and they. I mean, I'm all about organic. But they tasted like um, cardboard. They, they were less, I mean, they were okay. So when we would go to make like, you know, a traditional dish like this for one of the holidays. Some people do like manigot, you know, where you roll it up. I like this. I like, I like the shells, you know. They're easy to serve. They don't make a big mess. Um, and like I said, even when you cook it, you can always freeze it and then recook it if you wanted to. Thanks, Drifter Nomad. Thanks for coming in. I appreciate it so much. Are you all set for Easter? You doing anything? We watched the Gordon Ramsay, like the next level up chef. And it's so funny to watch. Um, like, I love to get, like, you know, they, they give them the ingredients on the fly or whatever. And I said, the one thing that they always make is a lot of, a lot of mashed this or pureed this. I'm like, I've never seen so much pureed whatever, but it's crazy how they just come up with like, you know, the recipes right off the top of their head. Like, I'm pretty good at that, but I like to have like my phone or the internet near me because I just want to make sure, you know what I mean? Like, what temperature should I cook it at? I just want to double check, you know what I mean? But yeah, they get some some really good ideas. And some of the chefs that they have on there, they're like younger ones, you know. Who is in here? Brandy. Hi, babe. Hi, I'm here. How you doing? We are cooking some, or we're prep cooking some stuffed shells. And I just did. If you if you go back to the beginning, I just um, prepped the macaroni macaroni and cheese for tomorrow. So this way, I can just cover them, pop them in the fridge. And then pop them in the oven tomorrow. Lola, you're coming. Now Lola's coming around. I hope you're doing well, Brandy. I gotta give you a call, actually. <clears throat> I've been meaning to uh, touch base with my girl. Brandy, you coming for dinner tomorrow? 
shouldn't take you too long to get here. All right. Lola. She's licking my feet. I don't know if I have food on my feet, but. <laughs> Brandy, we'll set a place for you and uh, hubby, okay? Yes, you're coming great. Fantastic. We're eating at four o'clock, okay? You gotta be here then. <laughs> so yeah, guys, you can make like a tray like this and then um, I'll have leftover um, shells and cheese. So what I might do after I'm done with this is I might just make one more tray, like a small tray or whatever, um, and then just throw it in the freezer. And this way, I have it for when we want it. I'm making a mess of my hand. I hate when I, I like when I cook a lot of times, I gotta use gloves because I hate when I get stuff under my nails. It drives me nuts. <laughs> How's your day, Brandy? Everything good? It's sunny here again today. Very nice. A little chillier than yesterday. It was windy this morning, but um, I'll take it. I had to go pick some of my daffodils and put them in a vase. Make it look all nicey nice. Amy, did you sleep at all? I don't even think you slept at all. <laughs> I have to ask Google what time, what time it is in Australia. Hey Google, what time is it in Australia? Multiple time zones. It's, right now, the time in these zones is between 2.23 a.m. on Sunday and 7.23 What time is it, Amy? 6.23? <laughs> I gotta ask the... I told you, I gotta ask the googly. I never remember what it is. Hey, Google. Show front door camera. Yeah, we're doing well. Yeah, March. Oh, you hear it, Drifter? That's so funny. Yes, March Madness is on in the background. Now, UConn played the other night. Those are the days I miss. Sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time. I gotta get one of those like pastry thingies where you can just pipe it in. Alrighty. Some of them don't like to stay open. You just gotta. But the, the nice is that if you, um, these are the Barilla ones. I like, I like that pasta brand and they're, they're pretty dense where like you can be a little rough with them. You know what I mean? And, uh, they won't break. Alrighty, almost done guys. I'm gonna come in and say hi to you guys real quick.
Couple more to go. Yeah, I've done these before when they're like piping hot. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Although my hands are so desensitized to hot because I've doing hair all these years. You got one in. One more in there. <laughs> yeah, this is drip. Yeah, this is for tomorrow. But yes, we're having um, we're going down to my uh, my in laws and uh, my sister in law is making macaroni and meatballs, and I'm gonna go down with my spaghetti squash and bake it in the oven because <laughs> I know I'm gonna be eating good tomorrow. I actually prefer the spaghetti squash sometimes. You guys ever make it? It's really fun. I put a video up actually last week, I think, from uh, when we, um, I had made it. Try not to do too many carbs with the pasta, you know? All right, so, see? I made just about enough. I'll make a little bit more filling. I'll get these guys filled in a little bit later on. And I will um, throw it in the freezer for another day. So let me come in and say hi. Hang on one second, guys. All right. Hello. You can come walk with me here real quick. <laughs> Oh, I'm going to sit down for one second. Oh, my gosh. Well, thanks, guys, for coming in. I'm using my son's tripod thingy. There she goes. They're crazy. The dogs are absolutely crazy. <laughs> yeah, so the hey. They're crazy. Look at them. Hang on. They're at the window right now. Look at them. What are you going to get? 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 Lola, say hi. Say hi. What is even out there? I don't even know. Oh, my neighbor's walking his dog. That's what's, that's what's going on out there. Sorry. I feel like I'm moving around like a crazy person. Um, That's why they're barking. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> the knuckleheads. Come here. Go lay down. Come here. Come here. Go lay down. Go lay down. Please. You can hear Louis' nails pitter pattering. <laughs> he was up early this morning. Usually, he's like a teenager now. He like doesn't like to get out of bed until before at least ten o'clock in the morning. So funny. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> well, guys, thank you so much for coming in. I appreciate it. I hope you guys have a good Easter. Um, and I will talk with you guys soon. Is anybody going live tonight? You know, Amy, you're gonna go live. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, well, anyways, I'm going to sign off here, guys. Um, please make sure you hit the like button. Thank you so much. Um, and I will talk to you guys soon. All right, bye.